Fiona Hall, Liberal Democrat MEP for the North East. What, what is the problem that lorries cause for cyclists? There are a huge number of problems and one of them is that um, lorries with the current design of a very flat front um, make, it makes it very difficult um, for the driver to see anything that is directly in front of the lorry, like a cyclist or a pedestrian. There are also big problems with visibility around the lorry and that's something that we would like to see rectified by having cameras and sensors so that every um, part of the area around the lorry um, was visible to the driver. Now we've got lorries out that have come over from the UK today. What are they trying to raise attention of and how does it fit in with a long campaign that you've had of, 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 of as you say, lorries of getting lorries fitted with, with sensors and cameras? What um, the lorries have come out over here today for is to draw attention to the fact there's actually a, a piece of legislation um, going through the Parliament at the moment um, which gives the opportunity to push things in the right direction on this question of visibility. Um, it's legislation that was actually designed with another purpose in mind. Um, it's changing the rules about the length of lorries and bringing in a change to the shape of the front of the lorry with a view to making the lorry more fuel efficient and to cutting emissions. But those changes also go in the right direction as far as lorry safety is concerned. Um, because a lorry which has um, a, a bit sticking out at the front, that in, enables better visibility ahead of the lorry and also a, a crumple zone to be in place. So what we're hoping to do is to make the most of this legislation, which is happening for other reasons, but it is an opportunity for us to push um, on, on the bigger picture of cycle safety. I mean, these lorries have hitched up right next to the EU buildings here in Brussels. Does that help in a campaign like this to, to actually bring people out here and, and show, show MEPs, show politicians um, what it's all about, what it means? Yes, I think it does because we do have some very good examples of good practice with lorries in the UK. Um, we have lorries that have been retrofitted with cameras and sensors. Um, we have lorries that are using a different shape at the front of the lorry. And I think for um, uh, people in Brussels from different countries to see what it's possible to do is very helpful. And also, you know, legislation when it's just words on the page can be quite dry. When people see the lorries and they see the size of them and what a difference the shape makes that really brings the message home. Now I understand that the UK government doesn't uh, support these changes to, to the weights and measures legislation. How concerning is that for you as a Lib Dem MEP and do you think you can convince them to change their minds? It is concerning. Um, they are coming at this from a, a different angle and I think that the, the message about cycle safety has to be reinforced with them. That um, this is not just about axle weights or, or, or lengths of lorries and that is a concern but there are also benefits from having a slightly longer lorry when it, that allows this, more, this safer and more aerodynamic bonnet to be in place. Just finally, what kind of differences, uh, what kind of difference would um, either of these changes make? Either the the, the, seri the, the sensors and the, the cameras, or the changing of the shapes of the lorries. What kind of difference would that make for for cyclists on the road? And in in cases like like the Early Cairns case uh, from 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 Northumberlandshire. I think that there is no one silver bullet, but brought together, these measures can make a massive difference. And in particular, the cameras and sensors um, give the driver a complete 360 degree picture of what's going on around the lorry. And despite all the previous legislation, and there have been various attempts to solve this with different mirrors in different places, it's still the case that there are some blind spots around lorries. And we know how, how shocking and tragic um, the the, the, the cycle figures are um, and we absolutely have to do everything we can um, to change those. Do you think you can get a change in the law? Do you think you can get this legislation changed? I think there's a possibility that we can use this legislation to push things in the right direction. I think the full range of measures is going to need changes in the technical committees that are European level as well. So there's not one single approach, it's a question of seizing every opportunity there is and pushing always in the direction of, of greater safety for cyclists.